Welcome back to Crypto Warehouse and today I'm going to go back over a project that I covered this time last year and that is what I believe to be the next 100x gaming token in crypto. You will see a lot of videos like this on YouTube but today I'm going to show you a project that is literally going to blow your socks off and this project is Star Atlas. Star Atlas is a project that has come from the previous bull cycle all the way through the bear run and has finally come out the other end. We have some massive news from the Solana Amsterdam conference, which we're going to cover. But first of all, we're going to go through what Star Atlas is, the team behind Star Atlas, a little bit of history behind how they've got to where they've got to. We're not going to look at everything in the project. We're not looking at the DAO, we're not going to look at the roadmap. We're going to take a look at a preview of some of the games that they have ready to launch. And finally, we're going to look at the tokenomics and I'm going to give you a price prediction. But before I do, can I please ask you to do us all a massive favor here at Crypto Warehouse and give us a like and a subscribe. Help us grow the channel and make more videos like this. First of all, a little bit about Star Atlas. Star Atlas is a project I've been following now for about two years. It is an immersive MMO built in outer space. There are three races that you can play and there are tens of ships that you can build and can configure to whatever your heart's desire. The game is also built in Unreal Engine 5, which we're gonna take a look at later on. As well as being a massive game on the Solana blockchain, Star Atlas is also available on Epic Game Store. Yes, you heard that right. Epic Games lists Star Atlas as one of their projects. One thing I should mention, if you do want access to Star Atlas, we have codes to give away to give you access. Alternatively, I will leave a link in the description below to the Discord channel where you can go and speak to one of the mods and get yourself an early access code. Back to the Star Atlas website, one of the coolest things I want to show you is the vast array of ships. You have ships for everybody. You have retro ships, you have sleek ships, you have futuristic ships. And as an example, we have the Fimble Bias Earth, one of my favorites. It is retro. Now, each of these images I am showing you are more than just pretty pictures on the screen. They're actually built out. These are 3D rendered models of this ship. So you can go, you can pretend to be in a 1960s sci-fi film. You can do what you want. These are really are some cool looking ships. And one thing you will see if you're new to the NFT space is you will see a total supply because each one of these ships is an NFT, a non-fungible token, which means there are only ever going to be 8,000 Fimble Bias ERPs. We're going to get onto the number of players later, but I can assure you that 8,000 ships of this model really isn't a lot. At the very end of the spectrum of ships, you have the Titans. This one here is listed for $5 million. As you can see, the total supply is one. There will only ever be one Fimble Ecos Super Phoenix ever in the Star Atlas game. The most recent addition to the game has been Sage Labs. Sage Labs is a kind of halfway house between having a, an unreleased game and the end version where it is first person shooter, first person flying. This game allows you to create fleets and then search the galaxy for materials to help you build additional ships within the game. Now Sage Labs is not for the light hearted. I would recommend going and watching some tutorials on how Sage Labs actually work. I will leave a link in the description below to a channel that I personally follow and he's made explainer videos which will be far better than anything I could ever do in the game. So let's move on now to look at Breakpoint in Amsterdam this week. So Michael Wagner is of course the founder and CEO of Star Atlas. He is very active both on the Discord channel and on Twitter. This is always good to see what you don't want. And as covered many times on this channel, you don't want projects with teams of people who have no idea who they are. You don't know what their faces are. You don't know their experience. Wagner is front and center on everything to do with Star Atlas. I 
again. Now he got up on stage this week at Breakpoint and gave a a review of where Star Atlas is and this really is going to knock your socks off. I don't think many people outside of the Star Atlas community really do appreciate how far along this game actually is. So one of the things he covered was a preview video of what was going to come to Star Atlas in the next six months and this video I'm about to show you includes some highlights from that. So an overview is the third person shooter and weapons will be available soon. Combat racing will be available soon. On-chain ship configuration, mastery and player progression. The new Mud, Oni and Uster characters. Now, the Mud, Oni and Usters, they are the races you can play within the game. If you've seen other Crypto Warehouse live streams, you will have seen Brogan play this game in the past. We have live streamed this on Binance. We have live streamed this on YouTube. This is the extension of that. This is the death race. This is where you get to take out other competitors and take their vehicles. On top of this, they have added skins. This reminds me very much of Call of Duty and other games like that where you can go through and pick skins for your weapons, for your ships, whatever it might be. The UI on this is next level and looks absolutely incredible. Now, for those of you wondering, this is real time. This isn't 3D rendered just for a preview. This is actual gameplay footage. So now we've seen the ship, let's have a look at the characters. So we have new 3D rendered models for the Mud, Oni and Uster characters. Each one of these looks absolutely incredible. And of course, it goes without saying that Uster is the greatest race of the three. Now, this is the really exciting new element to Star Atlas that I literally knew nothing about up until this week, and that is gunplay. Now, with gunplay, obviously, the, what they can do with this is limitless. You can have 40-40, 20-20, you can have faction-based, real time have fortnite style battle royales within the game this looks unbelievable so now we've seen some of the fun and games let's go and have a look at the tokenomics of star atlas and this i think is where you'll appreciate why i think this is a 100x coin first of all the market cap is currently only 40 million dollars incredibly small Circulating supply is 14.2 billion. The active holders, 278,000 players. Now in terms of the DEX T score, I always look at this. Anything above 75 to 80 is a good DEX T score. So 85 out of 99. Again, I don't need to be doing this. This is a AAA game. But I like if we go to coin market cap, it gives you a slightly clearer way of looking at Star Atlas. And as you can see, over the last one month, we have gone up 94%. The price is still less than a third of a cent. It is 0,028. Now, we shouldn't look at all-time highs. All-time highs of the coin were happening during the last bull cycle. But this was a 20 to 25 cent coin. So now you can understand why I think this could easily do a 100x. Very simply, there isn't another game in crypto, in Web3, using blockchain technology that comes anywhere near this project. This project is by far the biggest project I have seen in crypto. And that includes a very creditable Earth Mother Sun, which I do like. I think they've been faster to market, but it is a, it is a smaller game, don't forget that. So what Star Atlas have built is a metaverse so compare it to decentraland compare it to sandbox don't compare it to fortnite earth of the sun call of duty it's a metaverse because it's a metaverse the opportunities for this game to scale are, are ridiculous so if you look at some of what other opportunities you could have in star atlas you can have other NFT projects collaborating with Star Atlas and introducing their characters 
to the game so you can play your NFT within Star Atlas. You have guilds that allowed, allow for anything from organized crime, organized commerce. You have the DAO, people can shape the future of the metaverse. You have first person shooters, you have races, you have unexplored parts of the universe, you have resource collection, you have farming. You can play Star Atlas how you want to play Star Atlas. There is no linear progression. Think of it as Minecraft in the sky. That's how you should be playing Star Atlas. Now, as you know, on this channel, one thing we don't do is we don't advise you to do anything without doing your own research. So below this video, I'm going to leave a link to the website, Michael Wagner. I'm going to link, uh, leave a link to how to play Sage Labs. I'm going to leave a link to Dex Tools. I'm going to give you everything you need to make your own decision on Star Atlas. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to Crypto Warehouse. Help us grow the channel and make more videos like this. So that's Star Atlas. That's the update. The game looks exciting. Please go and check it out. Until next time, I've been Mike. See you soon.